Welcome back to the channel and today we're looking at the brand new Jack Wolf Sharpshooter Jack. This is the second go round for the Sharpshooter. I no longer have my version one of this. I gifted it to a good friend, but I still have my Jack Wolf Gunslinger. This is the locking version of this knife. I think that the clip point on this knife is one of the most attractive looking designs out there. My particular variant has the Arctic Storm fat carbon covers and the DLC, black DLC titanium frame, lock spring, and blade. Comes in four other different variations. You can get it in jig tie with a satin blade, smooth tie with a reverse tux with the black blade and the dark gray titanium scales. You can also get it with the Snowfire fat carbon and that's a first for me. I've, I've not seen that fat carbon before. It looks nice. You can get it with dark matter glow fat carbon. It's like a black looking carbon fiber until you charge it up and then you can see the, the green glow in it. It looks pretty cool. I thought about getting that one, but my favorite color is blue, so of course I went with the Arctic Storm Fat Carbon. These come in at 6.67 inches long with a 2.93 inch clip point blade of S90V steel. Love, love S90V, especially for a slip joint, so you're getting max edge retention over the previous M390 versions. Got to say that the DLC is held up nicely throughout my testing, and that's always a good thing. This one has a nice swedge up top that thins out that tip, giving you a nice precise point for piercing. And it's not overly dainty. It does have some thickness there, the way this clip point is done. You have a long pull on the show side. And one thing I love about this particular design as well is I can pinch it to open. My fingernails, ever since my accident, are pretty brittle, so it is really important that I can pinch these open. I tend not to carry them as much if I can't do so. You have an excellently done sharpening choil. You can have tons of sharpening light before it'll start to widen back here. This blade has a nice deep hollow grind on it that comes down to around 18 thousandths behind the edge, so it was a pretty slicey cutter. Um, I also like how there's a good bit of straight edge to the blade so you can make longer cuts. Say if you're breaking down a big box, you can make a longer cut and you're not going to slide out because it has tons of belly at the front. Uh, it, it still works great for that kind of stuff. And you still have that perfect amount of belly up front near that tip to make some nice controlled finesse cuts. I also like how this handle kicks out toward the back on this gun stock pattern. It really fills out the hand nicely and that paired with the nice contouring on the scales makes this a very ergonomic knife. Even whenever I did a little bit of whittling with it, did some nice fine curls with it and I felt nice and controlled. Even though it's a thinner handle, you know, this is not something you'll be bearing down really hard on. So making those nice finesse cuts into the wood, it, it, it performed nicely, no hot spots that I noticed. I didn't do my full testing uh, layout, just cardboard, and I, I did the wood, and also did some um, straps. I did a cotton strap, and then I did some seat belt material, just to see how it cut through those. Uh, if you want to see how this knife performed in the M390 variant, you can check out that review. But it, it performed great. I know their S90V performs really well. I've tested plenty of it so far and I didn't see the point to do the full-on testing with this particular version. I truly think that black DLC just really sets off that blue fat carbon. The Arctic Storm, I mean fat carbon. I think it looks really classy and it's very unique looking. Um, I don't have anything like this. I think this looks classy. And let's check out that handle. Talking about that fat carbon on there it looks beautiful. Uh, this particular version has uh, triple flutes on the top, single flute on the bottom. You have nice chamfers here, and then you flip it over to the back side. You have some nice chamfering going right here. Very good attention to detail there. I have no voids in the carbon fiber, no gaps. Everything's aligned perfectly. You have a titan you have titanium hardware, Torx T10 for the pivot, T8 for the cover screws. Everything's nice and flush on that back spring. Made it perfectly. 
I brought this knife over to my neighbor who is more of a slip joint aficionado and I got him to rate the walk and talk on this knife and he, he told me the way he felt is that the pull is about a six which I'm good with but what I really like about it just listen to this and I'll, I'll do some still shots but whenever you do the full open I mean it the wax open and I he said I was about a seven and a half to him uh, it's got some good pressure there. I'm not worried about it closing on my fingers. And that nice snap in the closure, closing position. Now be quiet and let y'all listen to how good this one sounds. Right here. For those of you who've never seen one of these Jack Wolf Nas videos, they come with a nice leather slip to store the knife in. They fit good. I usually go tip down with mine, but I <laughs> I like these so much that I, I bought a bunch of these Northwoods leather slips, and that's where this one will probably sit. And they fit great, and they patina nicely over time, but you can carry neither one. I also carry mine and some of my EDC pouches. The weight without the slip is 2.62 ounces. With the slip it's 3.19. Here's a size comparison with the Jack Wolf Gunslinger and the Jack Wolf Cyborg. It's pretty similar in length to the Benchmade proper and the line steel round head. And there it is next to the Ontario Rat 2 and the Civivi Elementum. Nitpicks and complaints, I don't really have any because he smoothed out any of the issues are you know things that I really cared about uh, from the version 1 to version 2 so this one's a well dialed slip joint so if you're looking for something that is superbly made heirloom quality something that you could hand down to your kids this is a beautiful beautiful slip joint I think it's one of the best looking slip joints uh, you know I usually prefer a drop point but I can't deny how sexy this clip point looks, especially with the materials used. I think they all look really, really nice, and this one just has some, some of the nicest clicky clacks to them, or should I say walk and talk. Nice and positive. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, these go on sale on the 19th at, I think, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. If I'm, I'm wrong, I'll put it up here. I will have links down in the description, but if you're watching this before that time, this drop time, they're not going to be available yet. So I will do a community post whenever these do go live. So if you want to get one, you can have a chance to pick one up. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I hope everybody's having an absolute amazing day. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace. Uh...